Hi everyone and welcome back to our Minecraft world. Oh yeah, we are back guys and this thing, we have built this mob farm in the last episode and yeah, I mean just a double chest won't cut it, right? So we need storage for this thing. <laughs> I have, uh, yeah, dug out a little room down below and what I want to do is collect two things from here, right? We want Bones, and we want gunpowder. The rest we will not keep, okay? That might seem like a bit dumb, but uh, honestly, that's all I want from this farm. Yes, we... we can't reach that. No! <laughs> yes, we could get a couple of redstone bits and other witch drops and string, but honestly, we have an AFK string farm. Uh, that reminds me, I need to show you the finished decoration because I was I was busy guys I was very very busy I finished decorating that thing as well and yeah so what I would like to do is having like three white walk with nah let's make it yeah let's make it like five white where you can walk on and then we, I want to have chests for gunpowder oh wait that's right we need to press shift uh so we can come in here and get like to, yeah, let's let's make eight chests per side, right? That should be okay. I think so. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, and then, whoa! <laughs> I want to have eight chests on the other side, right? Ah, uh, one more, right? Yeah. So we will hook. I need to take this back more, obviously. Ah, uh, so we will set up an item sorter over here that will split the bones into one side, gunpowder into the other side and the rest will just get destroyed. Um, yeah, and we will build up like, I don't know, maybe four double chests worth. And I also want to build in a indicator lamp when a one row is actually full. So whenever I come down here after AFKing, I get a nice view of how many stuff we actually have. And this storage might be totally overkill, but hey, that's how we do it, right? <laughs> I much rather have an overkill in storage than too less space to actually store the items I want, right? So over here is the cave. Um, yeah, we will deal with that later. Maybe just light it up completely and stuff. But yeah, so I have a job to do, which is clear out space here, maybe clear this out a little bit more. And I also need to come up with a design and stuff. Uh, and I like to do that in survival. That's where I differ from a lot of people. Um, yes, it's a good idea to plan out your builds in creative. The thing is, I don't enjoy creative. I just don't, right? I love survival. And... If it takes me four times longer to get to where I want to be in survival, I am happily investing that time, okay? It might be dumb for a lot of you. You might think you are crazy. Why do you do that? And that's just who I am, guys. That's just who I am. I, uh, <laughs> I love survival so much that I'm willing to risk uh, more time into it than I need. So... I will clear this out, like, probably three, let's make four blocks more, <laughs> oh god, uh, up to one, two, three, four, and the lamp would be up here, I guess, one lower, that should be okay, all right, let's go to work. Alright guys, we are back and oh, it's currently night, whoops, <laughs> but that's okay, uh, I just AFK'd at this thing for, I don't know, maybe two or three hours, something like that, <gasps> that almost killed me, what, holy smokes, <laughs> okay then, okay, <laughs> but yeah, um, I have been decorating this a little bit and uh, yeah, stuff is coming in. That's good to see. All right. Uh, I still need to do an entrance and stuff to this. 
So that is something to look out for. <laughs> Definitely need to do that. And yeah, you know, I'm using wool blocks to place my redstone on, right? Uh, not over here though, because of that lava source. That was a massive oversight on my part. Uh, if you <laughs> put wool next to this guy, uh, it will just burn it. And I was really sad. I came down here and all this was backed up. Uh, and I was like, holy smokes, what happened here? Yeah, uh, basically, ah, <laughs> the wool <double> burned down. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I uh, I need to change that. Uh, so yeah, we have some red wool here with some redstone lamps. Uh, I'm not really sure about the ceiling and the floor though. Uh, I like the pillars of the of the stones, smooth stone slabs here. I like those, but yeah, the ceiling not so much. This is fine. I quite like that. And with the indicator lights and stuff, that's pretty awesome actually. I wonder. How much is this filled back up? Oh! Oh, not even that much. And we can't open this for now. Uh, if you quickly get rid of this block, though. Oh, wow! Okay. That, that's pretty decent, though. I like that. I like that. But yeah, let's return to base, gather up some resources, and talk about our next project. Here we are, back in our storage room, and I was busy, guys, I was busy. We have some ice, also compressed ice, some trapdoors, normal ice, some stacks of black stained glass, some iron bars, and we need to fill up some more stuff as well. I'm not really decided on the other materials, but yeah, I mean, this will become a walkway. In the end. So yeah, we are doing an Enderman farm. Uh, I think that is one of the best ways to get XP for repairing your tools. Uh, it's just very convenient and very... Not so resource heavy, actually. I mean, you could not you could do this without the whole ice path with the trap doors and stuff. And you would get away with uh, not so much resources as well. Maybe we don't even need that many stacks of black stained glass. Maybe we need even more. Uh, kind of low on black dye though, but yeah, so let's meet up in the end. Alrighty, we are in the end, and I think it would be nice if you just can access this uh, the Enderman farm like right away from over here. Uh, I'm kind of scared because I put my elytra away. <laughs> I think I shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh no, I think I should. I should have some wings on me. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely, because this is kind of scary what I'm about to do, and if something happens, I can just fly away. <laughs> Much better. Okay, so... I'm an idiot. No! I need the ladders. I need them. I need them. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, we have... Quite the scary task to do. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I mean, you kind of have to swim in this and put the blocks, blocks in. I haven't decided which blocks I want to use for decorating that thing, but yeah. We need to go to Y level zero, guys. And that is always quite a scary task. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully, I will not fail. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Holy crap, dude, this is, this is like, this is the moment you realize that you don't want to mess up anything now. Absolutely nothing. We are... <sighs> <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. 
Oh my god. Uh, like that? Like that? This? Uh, if he, if he, if he, what is that? That's like Y level 3. Okay. We need to, oh, oh my god, this is just like fully pokers, dude. This is like, that's block 1. I'm not even sure if you can put a block down to, to zero. I I don't really know. But I think I'm fine with like with Y level one. <laughs> I think I'm actually fine with that. To be absolutely honest. Because I really do not know if it's even possible to go to zero. I don't remember. But that's <gasps> Dude! Dude! Chill! Holy smokes, man. This is like... Yeah, this is like really scary. Not gonna lie. It's not all good now, though. It's all good. We can just simply put down the ladder. <laughs> and meet us when we are done. Alright, the ladder is in. Uh, let's grab our compressed ice. That looks pretty good. Uh, hmm... You know what I should do, just for a moment, just because I don't want to lose like the ender chest or the precious shulker box. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, now we need to decide which direction we want to. Ah, oh, basically this way would be the best way to go. So I need to place down three stacks. <laughs> of this compressed ice and once that is done i will meet you guys over there and that's the last compressed oh don't look at that guy <laughs> that's the last of the blocks placed oh nice 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 this will just basically be our walkway though so we need to get some glass out uh there we go. We need like three stacks for the way back. And also we will have like a five by five over here, if I recall correctly. I just want a little bit of space. That's all I want. And yeah, with the black glass, you can see it's really, really scary. <laughs> but I just think it looks good. It just looks good and it gives you that feeling of can I really stand there or or not? Uh, that, that's not a 5x5, five five, but that's A-OK. -okay. Um, yeah, let's place down some torches for now so we know where the boundaries are. Good, good. Then we want that there. That's obviously just for markings. We also want to change these guys out for their glass counterpart. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. So far, so good. Now I think I missed one. <gasps> no! I missed one of those, but that's a okay. Uh, we also will need to trap doors later on, as well as the normal eyes. Don't need the ladders anymore. And you will change those to bubble elevators and stuff, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. But yeah, now we should be able to use exactly three stacks of those on our way back. And obviously, those Endermen, we need to push them down. But yeah, that's the next step. Yep, they just pushed me off. <laughs> and they are pretty angry down there, so I think we should let them despawn. <laughs> okay. Progress. <laughs> Glass is in. Uh, what we need to do, though, is get on top of this glass. And now we need to place the regular ice onto here. And this is still kind of very much scary. There we go. Uh, if we use our fortune, pick, our fortune pick, we can... Yeah, look at that. That's what we want to see. Water sources all over the place. Perfect. 
I used my silk touch pick. No. Okay, we have one water bucket, so <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Next step: placing trap doors. Trap doors are placed, which means we can test this out. Yay! Hyper speed. <laughs> it works, and we don't need glass on the side if we just line up ourselves accordingly and yeah oh, wow that did work pretty nicely didn't it so yeah i need to check if i need other resources though uh, i'm pretty sure i need some more all right guys so we actually also need our tech box over here because oh wow <laughs> I'll pretty much have enough hoppers to do this. Oh wow, oh wow, that was close, that was close. But yeah, I've gathered up some resources and we will be using an endermite and stuff. And I need to find the tutorial for this farm again because I don't know or I don't remember the exact measurements. So yeah, I definitely need to find uh, the tutorial for this farm so I can actually build it right. Which, whoa, wow, that, oof, that scared me for a second there. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, so I will search for the tutorial. And as soon as I found it, I will basically just start building up the farm, honestly. I don't think it makes much sense to make more jump cuts from now on, because I won't be able to explain it as well as the guys that uh, worked on the tutorial, obviously. So yeah, I mean, full credit to them. And I'm sure in the next cut, we will actually remember who they were. All right, let's go to the Enderman farm, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, holy moly, I was so waiting for this. It will be great, it will be great. And they are streaming in, and yeah, we have double carpet, red carpet on top as well to make everything spawn proof. Uh, we might actually, uh, hang on a minute. Uh, we might close these off actually. And yeah, I had a bit of spare resources, but not too much. Uh, so yeah, we can have the item frame with the item frame, item frame. With our sword in it, we can now go over here, whoops, and start hitting these guys. Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at that XP! Yes! Let's repair our pick. Awesome! I will uh, farm here a little bit, get all my gear repaired and uh, Get these two combined, at, uh, the sword to the level we wanted, and I will bring you guys back. All right, guys, I have repaired absolutely everything, <laughs> which is crazy. We have a ton, like a ton of pearls and stuff. But yeah, we have our tool fixer 3000 with sharpness 5, unbreaking 3, which is not really necessary, sweeping edge 3, and mending. And we can leave that right here where we can always use it when we come back. So yeah, that was a great success. Obviously we need to add the enchanting setup. Um, we could do that to the side here. Uh, I thought that would be a good idea. And yeah, uh, the rates of this farm are absolutely insane. Uh, as you can see, we, we reached mob cap. There are no more endermen spawning up there because uh, maximum of all of them has spawned. Uh, yeah, we have quite a bit of pearls as well, which is nice, which is nice. Um, yeah, let's leave like two stacks in here, a couple for us to use. But uh, yeah, I'm really glad how this turned out and let's see what we can do next. Alrighty guys, we are back and I have kind of underestimated how long it will take me to build up that Enderman farm. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm just gathering a whole, a whole shulker box full of sand uh, so we can have some more glass melting up soon. And yeah, I mean, I have a couple of 
very sl um, small things to do uh, between episodes. The first will be putting in an actual water elevator in the end, um, like we do have it here, for us to jump down and come back up. Uh, I think that would be a good idea. And yeah, kind of finishing up some decorations and just uh, overall being a bit more tidy. Uh, we need to <laughs> tidy up some rooms. But yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, take care. Bye.